The global liquefied natural gas, or LNG, market experienced a turbulent year in 2022. The market upheaval caused by the Russian-Ukraine conflict has stimulated significant interest in liquefaction and regasification facilities worldwide as markets seek to re-establish energy security priorities. In this video, Inquiries takes a look at the supply side of the global LNG market and expected growth in global liquefaction capacity through 2028. Let's begin by taking a look at the actual LNG exports by country in 2022. There were 20 countries exporting LNG led by Australia, the US, Qatar, Russia and Malaysia. Combined, these top exporters accounted for 75% of the world total in actual exports. Australia retained its position as the largest exporting country in 2022, sending out 81 million tons per annum, or MTPA, versus 79 million tons in 2021. Australia was followed closely by the US who exported 80.5 million and Qatar at 80. Actually, the U.S. would have been top exporter in 2022 if not for the fire and explosion that knocked the Freeport LNG facility in the U.S. Gulf of Mexico out of commission in June of that year. Anyway, the U.S. recorded the largest growth of any country from 2021 to 2022 at over 10 million tons. They are certainly on track to become the world's largest exporter of LNG in 2023 with the return of the Freeport exports and as new projects come on stream, much of which is targeting Europe as they seek to offset lost Russian gas supply. Now, looking at the liquefaction capacity, that's the maximum potential output, not actual exports I just covered. A total of almost 20 million tons of new LNG liquefaction capacity was brought online in 2022. This pushed the global total to over 475 million tons a 4% increase over the 456 million in 2021. This is equivalent to an additional 2.6 billion cubic feet per day, or BCFD, of natural gas demand for LNG, which increased the global total to almost 62 BCF per day in 2022, from about 59 in 2021. Just a quick side note, based on actual 2022 exports of 400 million tons, and liquefaction capacity of 475 million yields a fairly high capacity factor, or load factor, of about 85% globally. So, where did this growth come from? Well, the U.S. Gulf Coast region accounted for 75% of the capacity increase in 2022, as Sabine Pass LNG Train 6, 5 million tons, and Calcasieu Pass LNG Trains 1 to 18 at 10 million tons, became operational in February and May 2022 respectively. The U.S. now has the largest operational liquefaction capacity worldwide at almost 90 million tons per annum. Other facilities that became operational in 2022 include Russia's Portovea LNG Train 1 at 1.5 million finally started commercial operation in November of 2022 after significant delays. Mozambique's 3.4 million Coral South Floating Liquefied Natural Gas, or FLNG, also shipped its first LNG cargo in November 2022. Two additional liquefaction projects began operations in 2023. Tangua LNG Train 3 at 3.8 million in Indonesia began operations in October of 2023. Mexico's Altamira FLNG 2.8 million, was supposed to begin operating in September, but was delayed to December of 2023. At April 2023, almost 180 million tons of liquefaction capacity was either under construction or approved for development, of which about 45% is in North America, primarily the US. Just three short months later, in July of 2023, this had already increased to 210 million being developed as some projects in the U.S. and Canada were approved during that brief time span. In total, global liquefaction capacity is expected to reach almost 685 million tons in 2028. That's about 90 BCF per day of natural gas, up over 200 million tons, about 40%, from 2021. 
from the 475 million tonnes recorded in 2022. We'll finish up by looking at global liquefaction capacity by country in 2028. There is expected to be 24 LNG exporting countries, up four from 2022, with the new entrants being Mauritania, Mexico, the Congo, and Canada. In fact, Canada, who at one time had 18 projects totaling over 200 million tons per annum of capacity, over 25 BCF per day, and almost all of which have since been cancelled, will become a top 10 exporter led by the LNG Canada facility on the West Coast. The U.S., who is expected to account for about 25% of global supply in 2028, leads the world by a significant margin, easily surpassing heavyweights Australia and Qatar. Globally, there is also about 1,000 million tons per annum of new liquefaction capacity in the pre-FID stage, or final investment decision. However, many of these projects are unlikely to proceed due to the weak fundamentals and or geopolitical factors.